Hey guys, it's Lacey, and I've had several questions since the agricultural update about what is that weird orange gas in our bases and all over the place and coming out of geysers. It's natural gas, um, and this natural gas can be used to make electricity, which is really useful. Um, natural gas comes out of geysers. If you have flatulent dupes, they will make natural gas when they fart. Um, I actually thought that was pretty funny. And also, it's made by fertilizer makers. So when you have a natural gas geyser, it's not a good idea to just like dig straight into it and leave it open because it produces so much and so frequently. So right now I have between 16 and 18 and kilograms of natural gas in this room. At one point it did leak out um, because I didn't have enough things using it. Now that might change later, the balance might change, but you want lots of doors to be able to withstand this pressure. So I have it going in pipes all the way over here to these other weird looking machines that are new in the update. These are natural gas generators. Natural gas generators take in 60 grams per second of natural gas and they put out polluted water and carbon dioxide and they give you a decent amount of power. So interestingly enough, they don't have a connection for that polluted water to go. So you need to make it above your water spot uh, because otherwise you'll end up with a puddle on the floor and just put it on mesh tiles above your water spot. The carbon dioxide does have an output. Um, I usually pump it to my air scrubber. Now you need to keep an eye on how much you're producing because an air scrubber can handle 300 grams per second and a natural gas generator puts out 82.5 grams per second. So it can handle about three. Mine is dealing with five right now. So if my pressure, if my oxygen pressure drops in my base at all, uh, it will take over. The only reason it hasn't taken over is because these, this vent is over pressure right now. So I should probably add a second air scrubber. Now these do make a good amount of energy. Uh, as you can see, all of these batteries are full. This battery down here is full. Everything is being run. The reason I have so many generators, even though I have plenty of electricity, is because I was having issues with the natural gas pushing its way out of this, even though I have four doors. Pressure from the natural gas can also break a single layer of tile. So if I didn't have a second layer here, then this would probably break and natural gas would just be out into my base. It's kind of like water and how it breaks. It forms cracks. So if you see cracks, take care of it. Add another layer do something. So if we look over here, we can see that the layers of, we don't have any chlorine in here, but we know that chlorine is heavier than carbon dioxide. Natural gas is right above carbon dioxide. Below oxygen, above carbon dioxide. That's important to know. While we're talking about natural gas and the natural gas generators, we might as well talk about the new power stuff. Previously, we had heavy watt wire, and we basically used that everywhere in our base. Um, now, the heavy watt wire is much thicker. It can't be built through walls. See, that's not possible. Um, it's got really bad decor, but it can take 20 kilowatts. That's a lot. The electrical wire is still one watt. So, what you need to bridge these two is a power transformer. Now, a power transformer flows from this side down across to this side, like these arrows here show. Um, it's one way, it's not two ways, it's a one way. It goes from the big to the little. So you connect your heavy watt wire to the left side and you connect your normal electrical wire to the right side. And this is now separate. So this only has 400 watts on it. So it allows you to essentially separate your circuits. 
So I would recommend putting generators with some batteries on this. You could put batteries on these circuits too. But remember the power that's in these batteries can't flow back out through to here. Only this way from big side to small side of the transformers. So this power is exclusively saved for the things on this circuit. This power over here on this on the heavy watt wire can be used by any of these. Well, I think that's everything to go over about power. If you have any questions, then please ask them. And if you have any suggestions for tutorials or anything you would like to see me cover, then please tell me in the comments. I hope you found this video helpful, and if you enjoyed this video, then please hit that subscribe button so you don't miss me when I go live on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 1 p.m. Eastern or when I post a video. Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up or thumbs down. And always remember, you are special and amazing, and thank you for being you. I love you guys. Bye!